In this video, we're going to learn how to return a dynamically allocated 2D array from a function in C. So technically with a dynamically allocated 2D array, we access it using a pointer to, a pointer to, some type. So what we're going to return from the function is a pointer to, a pointer to, something. So we're going to have int star star as the return type of our function. And this function is going to create a 2D array of ints. We could say it's a matrix. So we'll call the function create underscore matrix, and the function will have three parameters, the number of rows in the matrix, the number of columns in the matrix, and the value to fill the elements of the matrix with. So we'll have int m for the number of rows, int n for the number of columns, and int fill value for the value that we're going to fill the matrix with. The first thing we'll do is declare a pointer to a pointer to an int. This is going to store the memory address of our 2D array. So we'll have int star star matrix, and this variable is going to store our pointer to a pointer to an int. The next thing we'll do is dynamically allocate space for an array of pointers to ints. This is going to be our array of pointers to each row of data. So we're going to have matrix is equal to malloc size of a pointer to an int multiplied by m, which is the number of rows in our 2D array. So malloc is going to allocate space for m multiplied by the size in bytes that it takes to store a pointer to an int. This will give us enough space to store an array of pointers to ints of length m. In other words, an array able to store a pointer to each row of data in our 2D array. And matrix is going to store the memory address for the first element in that array. We're ultimately going to return that memory address when we return matrix here. So the next thing we have to do though is allocate space for each row of data in our 2D array. So we're gonna have a for loop here and we'll say for int i is equal to zero, i is less than m, i plus plus. So for each pointer to an int in this array here, we're gonna have it point to an array of ints of length n because each one of these pointers to an int is gonna be pointing to a row of data and that row of data needs to store an int for each column, and we have n columns. So we're going to have matrix at the index i is equal to malloc size of an int multiplied by n. So this will complete the allocation of space for our 2D array, where matrix is again this array of pointers to ints. It's an array of pointers to each row in our 2D array. Then for each row in our 2D array, we allocate space for it with matrix at the index i is equal to malloc and we allocate space for an array of ints to store an int for each column in that row. Next, we could fill the matrix with values. So we'll have for int i is equal to zero, i is less than m, i plus plus. So in this loop, our counter variable i is going over all of the row indexes in our 2D array. Then we'll have a nested loop with another counter variable j. We'll have int j is equal to zero, j is less than n, j plus plus. So in this loop here, the counter variable j is going over all of the column indexes in our 2D array, but it's nested within this loop here. So this loop here is gonna run for each row index. So we're gonna go over each column index for each row index. And at each column and row index combination, we're going to set the element at that index equal to the fill value to fill the entire matrix with this value. Then here, we're going to return that pointer to a pointer to an int. As a practical matter, it's going to be the memory address of the first element in this array of pointers to ints. But we can also think of it as the pointer to our 2D array as well. Now, if we want to call this function in our main function, we're going to have to store that returned value somewhere. So we're going to have to declare a pointer to a pointer to an int in our main function to store that memory address. We could also declare variables to keep track of the number of rows and columns in the 2D array that we're going to create with this function. So we'll have int m is equal to five and int n is equal to four. Next, we could call our create matrix function and store the pointer that it returns into our matrix variable. So we'll have matrix is equal to create underscore matrix. 
and we'll have m as a first argument, n as our next argument for the number of rows and columns in the 2D array, and then we'll have a fill value of, let's say, 2. So the matrix should be filled with the value 2. After this, we could actually use this matrix pointer here to access and output the values in our 2D array. So we'll have 4 int i is equal to 0, i is less than m, i plus plus. And again, here we're using the counter variable i to go over all the rows in our 2D array. And for each row, we're going to output the values in that row. So we'll have 4 int j is equal to 0, j is less than n, j plus plus. And again, in this nested loop, the counter variable j is going to go over each column index in our 2D array. And what we'll do is print out the value at this row column index combination. So we'll have percent %d to output an integer. Then we'll have matrix at the index i, j. So output the value at the ith row and jth column. And this here is going to execute for all the values in the row at the index i. After we've output a row of values, we're going to output a new line character. So that way the next row of values appears on the next line. So once this is done, the next thing we're going to do is actually free the dynamically allocated memory because our create matrix function allocated space for this 2D array, but we need to free it still because our program is now done working with this 2D array. So what we'll have is a loop to first free all the memory that was allocated for each one dimensional array of ints that makes up each row in our 2D array. So we'll have four int i is equal to zero, i is less than m, i plus plus. Then we'll have free matrix at the index i. So here we're going through our one dimensional array of pointers to ints, and we're freeing the block of memory that each one of those int pointers is pointing to. And then finally, we can free the array of pointers to ints that matrix is pointing to, the array of pointers to each row in our 2D array with free matrix. So by using free like this, we're preventing a memory leak from occurring where our program has memory allocated that we're no longer using. Free will make that memory available again if our program needs to allocate it for some other purpose. So because we're using malloc and free in our program, we do have to include the stdlib.h library that includes those functions. And so now our program should be okay to test. So we'll save, compile, and run our program. And we do get this 2D matrix with five rows and four columns that's been filled with the value two. So our program is working. So this is how we can return a dynamically allocated 2D array from a function in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.